Welcome back to Human Humane Architecture here in downtown Honolulu on another beautiful early evening Tuesday. Uh, today's show will be actually in the center and the focus of not only the show but also uh, of Think Tech Hawaii because in the interface between science and humanities. And we have a very special guest, uh, Dr. Antonino, uh, uh, today. And so we, um, we, we're going to uh, talk about um, a show, a symposium that's mm -hmm. going on tomorrow uh, at the Cancer Center here in downtown uh, yes. uh, Kaka'ako, we have to say. And it's from 8.30 to uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow. And you're basically going to uh, talk about uh, your very special research um, within the conference, mm -hmm. uh, which is about um, cities and urban development and what role technology plays in it. And uh, before uh, we, we introduce you and you introduce yourself, um, uh, Zuri is going to play a little clip here uh, that's going to introduce the subject matter. And uh, this is called um, the uh, Morgan City. Right. Thank you, Martin. So, um, why don't you talk a little bit about what we see now in the uh, mm -hmm. in the video? So, you know, we um, see a scenario, a way on how the future of the city could look like. So, you know, the, we will uh, f face many problems in future due to um, demographic changes, due to uh, scare resources. Uh, due to uh, increase of population, and we, we need to, to cover those, those problems, and we need to cover them fast, because mm -hmm. uh, we are not able to wait another 10 mm -hmm. years to see what's mm -hmm. happened. And the idea was um, to, to set up a program, a um, scenario, um, which we call Morgenstadt, in order to see, okay, how the future of tomorrow could develop, and what it needs to be done now in order to um, reach the goals. Mm -hmm. And when you say we, can you please share uh, what particular position mm -hmm. the uh, society, because Fraunhofer Gesellschaft means, uh, means mm -hmm. society, and also I have to say that you come straight all the way from half around the world from Germany. Yes, you came last night, and so thank mm -hmm. you for holding up well through the jet lag. Mm -hmm. And so please tell us a little bit more about the, what mm -hmm. the Fraunhofer Society is and what your role is within. Great. The Fraunhofer is a non uh, is a non-profit organization uh, in the area of applied science. Applied science means to be between universities and uh, and uh, let's say uh, the companies mm -hmm. and to be, be let's say the catalysts between the research done in a university towards the companies. Fraunhofer is a quite big organization. We have 67 institutes. Um, 24,000 employees, or like, let's say, engineers, mm -hmm. PhDs and stuff mm -hmm. like this. And, and we focus on mainly every technology field you could uh, imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, besides having uh, institutes in Germany, we follow also the customers. So we have uh, places also in the US, for example, in China, Korea, Japan, and so on. Um, in order to, to do research, let's say, at the front end um, of, the, of the customer. Mm -hmm. We have a, around a two, 2 billion uh, uh, euro, which is 2.2 .2 billion US dollar uh, budget uh, uh, every year. And we have a, a different business model than, than may you think about. We get 30% um, of our income is due to the government, so mm -hmm. the federal government and the local um, government is, is paying the contribute. 40% um, is due to uh, research projects where we need to apply to for mm -hmm. funding. Grants. Grants, mm -hmm. yes. And 30 to 40, it depends on institute, percent is money from the industry. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we need to be, let's say, when, if you work at the front of you, you have to have an entrepreneurial mindset mm -hmm. because you need to sell what you have researched to a company. So mm -hmm. when you apply for grants, my first question I do to my staff and to myself also is, uh, is there a need of mm -hmm. the topic, what mm -hmm. you want to research mm -hmm. in two years from now? Mm -hmm. Be because if not, you're not maybe not starting to set up competences in a field which you will not be able to. Yeah. Yeah. To, to get um, the, the, the financial backflow. Mm -hmm. My president would probably like that idea, which I know about <laughs> discussions, and yeah, he's yeah. actually our 
concluding speaker tomorrow at the conference. And to add, the conference is called Germany Hawaii Clean Energy uh, Symposium. Okay. That's how it's yes. officially called. And right. you're one of the speakers. You're actually an opening act speaker. Mm -hmm. But actually, the audience or the speaker sort of constellation is also comprised of actually the entities that you were talking about. So there's you guys mm -hmm. from the Fraunhofer. Mm -hmm. uh, society and there's also a sort of industry representatives a couple of them I had the chance to actually mm -hmm. meet today uh, as Mercedes-Benz uh, Energy mm -hmm. as MTU um, Rolls-Royce mm -hmm. and and a couple of other ones uh, big, potatoes, big big yeah. players mm -hmm. who are actually interested in us here which we feel kind of uh, quite privileged right so it's it's comprised of that i think we owe the audience a little translation because that project and the video clip the the morgenstadt we got to translate that would you be willing to uh, sort of decode where that name comes from or what it tries to say mm -hmm. right morgen means it's a german word which means tomorrow mm -hmm. so and the question was okay because uh, um it was um, a a project, um, let's say, initiated by the president of the Fraunhofer Society mm -hmm. to give it a, a German name, mm -hmm. a German name which is maybe also transferable to to other countries. And the idea, the purpose of this uh, Morgenstadt project was um, to um, identify future needs in, a, in an urban context mm -hmm. and to um, strategically think about uh, technology developments because Fraunhofer, you know, we, we develop technologies, mm -hmm. future technologies. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to develop a technology for future, I need to understand what is the, rec what is, you know, what is the, the uh, requirement mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the future. So mm -hmm. in, um, in the context of urban technologies, um, there are many, many uh, different requirements and it depends also on uh, how you see the future of a city. Mm -hmm. you know, we have uh, several uh, places, uh, a city of Jakar Jakarta, for example, who will face totally different um, um, challenges, challenges mm -hmm. than New York or than Stuttgart or than Honolulu, for example. So and, and that's, and that's um, let's say, the challenging part of it. Yeah, yeah. And I allow myself to illustrate a little bit in the background because, of mm -hmm. course, the question is what of that concept could be applicable to uh, us here in, in, in Hawaii, mm -hmm. especially in our metropolis of, of Honolulu. And I allowed to, because we had little time to prepare, at least as far as material, I allowed to basically illustrate that with a project I've been doing with the emerging generation of architects as an educator here. Mm. And um, I, I've, I've themed it uh, basically uh, Dawn Town Honolulu. Yeah. <laughs> and it plays off, I mean, certainly the name givers of the Morgenstadt came from Tomorrowland, which mm -hmm. is sort of a scenario right, right, right. From, the, from the movie world and basically playing on that one. So what, what the audience will see in the background, which I won't discuss because it's more important to hear about your position, where this comes from, but is a, is a potential application for our uh, very monofunctional urban fabric of downtown Honolulu, which we're actually sitting here, which is a nine to five work only mm. falls dead after. So an urban fabric that could mm -hmm. be actually regener uh, regenerated and, and rejuvenated. And every other picture um, is, one is basically a, um, an, an idealized vision. These are the models and the other ones are actually sort of realistic pictures of mm -hmm. the components and bits and pieces of I've been doing with my uh, firm. Uh, my family firm in, in Hanover, Germany. So these are the components to a mm -hmm. potential uh, Morgan City. And it's, let's jump a little bit more in, into, that, into that Morgan City because you mm -hmm. have actually told me that as far as wrapping you guys' arms around this huge you know, potential but also challenge of a city, it's very interdisciplinary. But, but once it comes down to the city, you have basically categorized sort of the research or certain strategies mm. into, into three major categories. And maybe we start with the first one, mm. which I'm very happy you didn't call it smart city <laughs> because you're smarter than that because it has become an inflationary term, mm. right. but he called it strong city. So what is right. a strong city? Okay, so just to, to give you, uh, you, you in the head, um, some comments on, on how we, we, we worked on that. We tried to, to understand what the future, how the future could look like. We, mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't have a glass bowl to see mm -hmm. this is the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is wise to think about different futures mm -hmm. and then 
you hopefully cope the real future than in, 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 mm -hmm. uh, in, in time. So we, we, we set up a scenario and we identified uh, influencing factors. I think it was around 200 influence factors f for cities. From those influence factors, we ex extracted 31 uh, uh, key factors, which will have a strong influence on mm -hmm. the others. Mm -hmm. And with those, we set up three scenarios, mm -hmm. so three ways of future mm -hmm. uh, could look like. And one is the strong city mm -hmm. scenario. This is a, a scenario where um, the city, as, as such, has a big influence on, uh, on the whole system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the bulgar, the uh, citizen, is, let's say, contributing financially mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to, to the government, and the government takes care about, mm -hmm. let's say, everything. There is mobility for free, because mm -hmm. you paid for it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, energy uh, will be um, very centralized, yes. and so on. And you said, for example, Singapore is a good example for yes, that. Yes, Singapore right? is a good example for, uh, for, for a strong city. Strong city mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. The, the question for us as a Fraunhofer is, uh, what does this uh, cit city concept imply in terms of technology? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, let's make an, an example for, if, if you, um, we have a trend in Germany towards decentralized energy, so, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. um, energy uh, storage and energy gener generation. Yes. So, um, because we have solar panels, we have wind energies, mm -hmm. we have water, uh, and so on. And the question is, how can we deal with this kind of uh, issue? So mm -hmm. if, if you have a strong city, you have a, a big kind of battery, big star storage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the energy where everything is flowing inside. And mm -hmm. uh, this have a totally different mm -hmm. approach, on technological mm -hmm. approach, as if you take the other scenario, the strong citizen, mm -hmm. which is the contrary. Mm -hmm. scenario mm -hmm. where the citizen is taking yeah. care about everything yeah. um, and he will have his battery, his small battery in his house where mm -hmm. he connects his solar mm -hmm. panels and his television for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so on. And that's, yeah. that was the challenge. Yeah, yeah that's us. very good analysis and obviously the question that we could categorize that where we're here in Honolulu and mm -hmm. I'll leave this up to the audience because there's probably no easy answer to that yeah, but yeah. you could also call it maybe that one the first one the strong city is a top-down model right? right whereas the second one is a bottom-up bottom yes. and I think you know you're you said then obviously we said there are three models mm. so these are probably the most extreme ones so in many right. cases probably the reality lies somewhere in between right and that and might be the third model that's right? the third model which we call the strong district mm -hmm. so you have uh, the city you know cities uh, are, are composed of districts mm -hmm. and the districts have a kind of border be, be it a real border where, where walls or something mm -hmm. or streets or mm -hmm. a, a virtual border mm -hmm. And those districts um, try to solve their challenges yeah. in, in context yeah. of uh, uh, urbanism by themselves. Okay. And there is a good, actually, Honolulu has set up sort of already sort of frameworks and districts as that. Mm. The one where you stay now in your hotel mm. is your hospitality district. This is Waikiki, right? right? Uh -huh. It's a very monofunctional, purely sort of right. guest-based uh, neighborhood. Then there is the one we're in here, and then we try to focus or point out a potential mm -hmm. rejuvenation, rethinking in the background here, which is downtown Honolulu, which you want to convert mm -hmm. into downtown Honolulu mm -hmm. based upon the, uh, the morning okay. uh, city concept. And then there is actually Kaka'ako, and Kaka'ako mm -hmm. is um, the one where conference is tomorrow at the Cancer Center. And, mm -hmm. and that one, I think, is pretty much struggling uh, with sort of the third uh, sort of concept. It, it tries to be, you know, that, and the question is what kind of potential does it have as mm -hmm. far as land ownership, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the difference I think we can say in Germany is that uh, the, sort of the areas which are sort of up for experimental exploration is where actually the city or the government takes a position, takes a step. And Hamburg, the harbor city, is like the city right. bought it mm. and had a hands on it. We're giving strict rules and regulations for innovation, right? right. Whereas here in Kaka'aka, we have private land ownership. We actually mm. did a little walkie tour to that. The 
chance to guide, and we went for the Kamehameha school part, then to the Howard Hughes part, so it became very uh, sort of clear to the visiting industry members where potential sort of dilemmas and also potentials mm -hmm. are. So what are the most um, exciting parts of, of, of that sort of future city for you mm -hmm. as far as, you know, professionally and also cities, if anything, are about life, right? So what, right. I mean, there's a sort of the rational mm -hmm. part, but then there's also the emotional part. So what gets exactly. you going when you think mm -hmm. about it both as yeah. sort of a researcher and as a human being? Right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a good question. You know, technologies are cold. The technology is not something vivid, not, not something, something which is live, but we, we need technologies because we uh, we have uh, scared resources. You mm -hmm. know, I think you, you in, in Hawaii um, know much better than us mm -hmm. what, what it means because every every apple needs to be imported from from yeah. from other places yeah, yeah. and stuff. And uh, you know, if you take this metaphor on the globe on a global level, we don't have an, a second world out there yes. which supplies us apples mm -hmm. or pineapples or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we need to take care about the resources which we have right now. We need to, there is two ways to take care about. One is to be more efficient. Mm -hmm. The other way is to find substitutions. Mm -hmm. For example, the scared, scared earths, mm -hmm. we have a big problem with scared earths. They are needed to set up, to build uh, smartphones. Mm -hmm. And we have very rare uh, sources for that. Mm -hmm. So, fauna of, uh, of researchers, but also other researchers uh, around the world, are trying to rebuild the function of this germanium uh, with nanoparticles. Mm -hmm. And nanoparticles is carbon. It, you know, mm -hmm. carbon is mm -hmm. there is enough carbon on the world to mm -hmm. to deal with that. And that's that's that are the the principles. Great. Right. Uh -huh. And the question with um, technology and emotion is um, how you how you. Uh, Combine them. You know, you'll be not able to set up a, a technology in a, in a place where people feel scared about nuclear mm -hmm. power plants. Mm -hmm. Who wants to have a nuclear power mm -hmm. plant in his garden or close to mm -hmm. uh, close by? You know, we may need them or may not to generate energy, mm -hmm. but no one wants to have it close by. Mm -hmm. This is a very emotional thing. Great. And let's hold that thought. Talk about humane technology. After a yeah. short break, we're going to take, and then we're going to be back with you. Thank Great. you. Great. Thank you. I'm Ethan Allen, host of Likeable Science here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m., you'll have a chance to come and listen and learn from scientists around the world. Scientists who talk about their work in meaningful, easy to understand ways. And you'll come to appreciate science as a wonderful way of thinking, way of knowing about the world. You'll learn interesting facts, interesting ideas. You'll be stimulated to think more. Please come join us every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for Likeable Science with me, your host, Ethan Allen. Hi, I'm Stacy Hayashi, and you can catch me on Mondays at 11 on Think Tech Hawaii. Stacy to the rescue. See you then. Hey, everybody. My name is David Chang, and I'm the new host of a new show, The Art of Thinking Smart. I'm really excited to be able to share with you secrets on giving yourself the smart edge in life. We're going to have awesome guests and great mentors of mine from the political, military, business, nonprofit, you name it. So it's something for everybody. <coughs> <coughs> we're back to our show with Dr. Nino Adelio. So um, we're going to talk about uh, humane technology, but we're also going to talk about sort of the components of what, what makes a city Right? So the city, you can't reduce to sort of mechanisms, to mm -hmm. automation, which is certainly a, probably a, a big part of it, but it's got to be sort of very multifaceted, right? Yeah, right. It's true. You, you know, you face many challenges in a city. You have the, the, the problem of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, everyone needs energy. Where do I uh, generate the energy? How can I store it? How can I deliver it uh, in an efficient uh, costly and a sustainable way. Mm -hmm. You have problem with water. If you open the water tub in Beijing, mm -hmm. this water which comes out made 200, 2,000 kilometers wow. of way. So, you know, you mm -hmm. put it in clean, you, it comes out dirty because mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. and, you know, those, those are the challenges you will mm -hmm. have when you um, put, you know, hubs where a lot of people live in a very dense uh, place. Yes. yes. 
we should probably not forget that t today is a special day in the United States. Yeah, today is election is. day on yes, a national is. level yeah. and so the, also on a, on a local level. So the mayor has invited you guys and us over to celebrate whatever happens tonight. <laughs> so, and, and he's mostly challenged about two subjects which are actually sort of an integral part of a focus of your, your Morgenstadt as well, which is one is transportation. Mm. And the other one is, is social equity because we have the largest homelessness. We, we have the most, one of the most traffic jams in the United States because we can only mm. develop between two mountain ranges. <laughs> And we have the highest amount of homelessness because supposedly you can survive here better than in other climates. Right. But then the question is, how do you find surviving? Because there's certain humanity and humility, and mm. we're, we're struggling with that. Mm. So maybe you talk a little about about the, the social okay. sort of component okay. or, or mm. ethical principle of the mortgage debt. Mm -hmm. Great. Maybe we just start with the with the traffic jam. Yes. Because this mm. is a problem which uh, appears all over. Mm -hmm. uh, the question, uh, at least in, my, in our place, I live in Stuttgart. Stuttgart is the Motown of Germany. Yeah. You know, a lot of Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, they are all there with mm -hmm. the headquarters mm -hmm. and companies. And in the morning, everyone is transmu uh, transmuting from the villages, from the cities to the companies, and then the, uh, tr generating traffic jam, uh, and in the evening the same way out. So mm -hmm. the question is, is this the right concept? Maybe not. Maybe we just should start to bring the companies back into the into the cities. Yes. You know, they have, mm -hmm. they have, you know the, mm -hmm. the, so you work where you live and you live where you yes. work. Yes. So you will have not have this nine to five problems yeah. Yeah, yeah. with 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 uh, which which you face yeah. also here in this. Uh, or, or the other way around, like yeah. in this case, as you yeah. point out, here we try to bring actually the citizens back to dwell right. in what we suppose to be <coughs> an urban jungle. <laughs> where you live and play and work and do everything. So you actually right. reduce the need of transportation. And whenever you mm -hmm. go, you use obviously more clever, more shared transportation mm -hmm. in, in various ways, right? And you also, there was a picture about playing. So you bring the children back yeah, right. in, in a city. So right, you basically right. have this mm -hmm. all sort of inclusive, comprehensive. Right. Yeah. The question with cities is that the, 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 the real estate in a city is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. And the young family, we've especially here. Especially here, yeah, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> and, but, but also in other cities. And the question is, uh, is a um, family, you know, a family with two kids, uh, are they uh, able yes. financially to, to buy a house in, mm -hmm. in the city center? Mm -hmm. This is also, for example, an issue for a policy maker. Mm -hmm. In Stuttgart, where I live, uh, you know, you get you get from you get from the government side mm -hmm. some uh, financial support if you um, go back with your family with children into the, the city. city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's incentive, so there's an encouragement, right? Right, right. because mm -hmm. you know, uh, otherwise just the things, the double income, no kids, people mm -hmm. who can afford the nice houses in the city center mm -hmm. will just mm -hmm. come over, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you will have a city which is not alive. It's it's a it's a kind of not dead, but you know, it's a very monocultural. Yeah, uh, yeah. Place as this picture shows. This is just the emerging architects have just built sort of the, mm -hmm. the, the existing urban fabric, and then the next step, the next picture is basically how they strip this. So we have, mm -hmm. we also have the. This is where they basically strip the the facades off because as you experience, we have we're privileged with the easy breezy trade mm -hmm. winds that we can use as they used to do here mm -hmm. as natural ventilation. And, and this would result then in this easy breezy uh, okay. environment that we densify. So we almost build an urban jungle. We learn from nature, which is the best teacher uh -huh. in many ways. And we should maybe say that that Germany is actually leading um, in, in energy efficiency. There is the energy energy yeah. transition. Maybe you want to talk about that a mm -hmm. little bit as yeah, a context umbrella yeah, for what you're doing. That's that's a good uh, uh, point. You know, in Germany, the government set up. Um, years ago mm -hmm. already um, a, a new agenda uh, uh, supposing that uh, we need to generate our energy mm -hmm. in a sustainable uh, um, uh, way and this means go away from fossil fuels from gas and go go yeah. towards solar and wind uh, yeah. water and, and other uh, sources and the government encouraged uh, uh, even the citizens mm -hmm. with uh, with money mm -hmm. to set up the solar panels on yeah, their roofs yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, set up in, um, 
industries and stuff mm -hmm. in order to to fulfill this uh, this goal and we have an, a con considerable amount of energy which is uh, which is generated by sustainable uh, mm -hmm. sources mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's, it's an investment in the future yeah and there was a, there's an example here of transportation you know we used to have the light rail here the street cars uh -huh. this is another suggestion to basically bring this back this is the beginning of my family Ohana practice here for the uh -huh. expo in 2000 where we demonstrated you know public infrastructure can be sexy you mm -hmm. know it can be attractive mm -hmm. and sometimes it takes incidents I think we shouldn't have left uh, unmentioned that actually in this transition of energy efficiency there was mm -hmm. there was an incident of global impact that was the Fukushima mm -hmm. uh, happening course, that basically yeah, made right. us Germans uh, overnight basically change yeah. our mind and yeah, not yeah. only go off the fossil fuels but also go uh, off nuclear power oh, yeah. And we're just talking here with some of the visiting uh, members that we say, let's just one of the ships that bring in the oil that we burn to basically chill us down in our hermetic buildings, basically shipwreck and, and spill, right? We had that in the Gulf Coast. Basically, then our main income of, of tourism is threatened, right? Because who wants to bathe in, in black oil, right, as mm -hmm. opposed to in clear blue water. Yeah, right. So we're not want to say we need an incident like that, where we're saying maybe we need to do it without, without sort yeah. of have this external sort of finger that warns us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right, right, right. And it's, like, I mean, com it's coming back to, to technologies, you know, we need to have those warm technologies, mm -hmm. like efficiency technologies, technologies, solar, wind energy, those are you know, warm technologies. There, um, people is emotionally attached. Yes. Are emotionally attached to these technologies, and uh, are quite open yeah. to absorb yeah. it. No, thank and you. And that matches the last picture that was just shown as a scenario of, and you bring in this passion, this emotion, and and thank you for that. We're at the end of the show, but who doesn't have had enough yet today? Tomorrow will be the big oh. event. You will be a speaker, so right. we look forward to. And then also I think Tech Hawaii and, and Jay Fidel has graciously, graciously um, sort of uh, donated uh, more staff. And so it will be broadcasted tomorrow for the first half of the whole day. So you guys will see more of this Germany, Hawaii Clean Energy Symposium. And it's right. great intercultural uh, uh, collaboration and brainstorming. Right. Thank, 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 thank you. you very much for being here. Uh, great. Thank you, Martin, for the honor to speak uh, to the audience. We are thank the you. ones to thank you. Thank you for being Great. here.